Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Shaheen Mansour, and this is the uh, surveying review seminar offered by the Professional Engineering Services. Uh, as you know, the exam is uh, two and a half hours uh, long, and uh, the biggest problem is time. Uh, this is a suggested uh, study tips from my side. You can look at it. Uh, if you have a better uh, study strategy or exam strategy, better than this, go ahead. But this is a suggestion, okay, uh, I came up with, uh, probably you saw it before. Uh, don't panic. This is something very important. The exam is two and a half hours long and essentially a mental, okay, endurance test. So you have to uh, train yourself by solving more problems as many as you can. Uh, don't expect that the exam will be easy. The exam uh, is difficult and uh, don't forget that we don't have to get 100% to pass. We have uh, 5, 50, 60. If you can make it 70, if you shoot for 80, it would be better. Uh, don't waste time in one specific problem. Uh, no, you have to move on. Uh, and as we solve problems here, I will tell you the process of trying to guess, try to eliminate, try to get the best answer. Uh, don't leave any answer blank because all the uh, questions will be um, uh, corrected. Uh, and read the questions or the uh, question carefully first and after that read the answers okay, carefully and try to pick the best one. Uh, something I should mention uh, that don't uh, assume that the exam will be entirely calculations. No, you, we have to understand the concept. There are some questions, okay, you must understand the concept and uh, have to answer, okay, the concept, uh, conceptual questions correctly beside the calculations. So the entire exam is not uh, calculations um, as somebody may assume. Uh, I prepared this diagnostic quiz just to give us an idea uh, how it looks like uh, the uh, exam. Uh, multiple, question, multiple choice, as you know. Um, so if we read the first question, uh, uh, each uh, <coughs> question must uh, contain some keywords, and I, I need you to look to these keywords. This will help you to eliminate the unsense or nonsense uh, answers or the wrong answers, and we are going to pick the right answers based on our knowledge and our common sense and our okay familiarity with the subject. Uh, for example, question number one. Uh, Earth quantities are usually calculated by the use of. And he gave you four choices. Mass diagram, Simpson's rule, prismodial formula, average end area. The word usually is a word, I should pay attention to it. This is a key word, usually. So, let's start with the first choice. A, mass diagram. Is a mass diagram a correct answer? If I know what is a mass diagram, probably I would say no, it's not. What is a mass diagram? A mass diagram is a relationship between distance and volume. The distance normally we express it in stations. A station is 100 feet or 100 meter. And the volume we express it either cubic meter or cubic yard. But the word volume by itself is not sufficient to say that this is a mass diagram. No, I have to add another word to the word volume, and this is something very important. Cumulative volume. Cumulative. The word cumulative means additive. We are adding the volume as we progress from one station to another, and we are going to construct a mass diagram in chapter 8. The volume could be plus, or it could be minus. If you have cut or fill, and they agreed that the plus quantity is going to be the cut, and the negative is fill. Cut, I have excess material. I have material will, will be delivered to somewhere at a site to deliver it outside the job site if we have excess. 
if we are short or we are having fill less than cut I have to get some soil from outside we call it imported borrow and this mass diagram could be either uh, drawn as series of of lines or it could be drawn nicely curved if we have enough data to construct the mass diagram and we have three situations with the mass diagram I could end it along the positive side so I have cut more than fill or I can unend it on this line here the x-axis which we call it the balance line balance line balance balance line if I end it here that means that cut and fit and fill are equal and the job is balanced so there is no excess material and there is no imported borrow to be obtained from outside if I end it along the negative side here which is the fill side means that I need to get some soil from outside for my job so earthwork quantities or earth quantities in general is a, a data to be used here so this is a product the earthwork quantities after I calculate it I'm going to use the volume either positive or negative cubic yards or cubic meters as an input to construct the mass diagram so mass diagram answer A is out second answer Simpson's rule Simpson's rule we know from calculus this is a rule to calculate the area way back in school so it's not the correct answer a prismodial formula is it possible to have answer C answer C prismodial for as an answer volume and the areas are important for us in this class volume area we are going to calculate the volume using different methods we are going to calculate the area using different methods volume we have three important methods we, it should, be, we should be familiar with number one average in the area in the area prismodial and the pyramid method or a truncated pyramid which is a subsection of the pyramid so three methods to be used to calculate the volume average in the area prismodial pyramid and each one of these has advantages and disadvantages and we are going to talk about this in chapter 8 in details but the word usually in the question you'll find that most of the computer programs available in the market not if, if not all of them they are using the average in the area method it is easier and most engineers are using this method so probably the best answer and when you look to the question I need you to pick the best answer some answers are close a prosimodial method is a method to be used to calculate the volume no doubt about that in fact it is more accurate than the average in the area method as we're going to see later on but usually the word usually will tell me okay the best answer and when you read the question please pick the best answer and in this case the average in the area method is the best answer